get up you yeah. just charge and press like get near it yeah okay i keep thinking you have to like sense move <clears throat> into it yeah okay yes master <laughs> he looks super pissed the thumbs up sign had been used by the galactic federation for ages the galactic federation is run by four-year-olds I was known for giving a thumbs down during briefings. I had my reasons, though. See. Commander Adam Malkovich was normally cool and not one to jump around. As far as. But he would end all of his mission yeah. briefings by saying. I want to say I don't really like this as a portrayal of a strong woman because. He was joking, but others weren't. To me, a strong woman would try to be going along and playing the game just like any guy would be doing. I don't mean game as in the game Metroid, I mean the game as in the military. Like when women were first introduced into the military during the Gulf War, they were essentially treated like shit because they were women, but they behaved and took it all the same way that a guy would. Yeah. And... <clears throat> yeah, I, I the whole trying to be an individual and kind of, like, thumbs down thing because, you know, resented being a woman or some shit. Like, that's kind of counterproductive to what the whole women in the military is about. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing, it's... I at least respect what they're trying to do, but this is kind of out of place in a futuristic military game. Considering, like, if this was, like, a World War One type game, then yeah, yeah go for <clears throat> it. But when it's the distant future and we already know there are women in the military, why? Why take this angle? And I hear the argument before that you know, she even says it. She was she was a child. So, what are you saying? That Samus was basically a snot-nosed brat with surrogate father issues and still is? Well, not necessarily. Sometimes... Well, she probably didn't literally mean she, I was a child. She was probably just referring to as, like, she just understands things more now than she did at the time. I mean, because, I mean, I think it also doesn't really express, it doesn't really state how old Samus even is. I mean, in this, in these flashbacks here, I mean, it looks like she could be a almost, teenager. Yeah, exactly. She looks like she could be as young as, like, 16-ish. So it just doesn't really explain. If we knew how old she was, at least, that would give us a better frame of mind. Because, I mean, if she's, like, 23 in this, then, yeah, that's a little... That's a little... much. But... If she literally was, like, practically an adolescent at the time, which she very well could have been... It's... Eh, it, Awful ship. Yeah, that, that, does make, that makes me giggle. <clears throat> I don't know why that... Fictional pieces feel the need to capitalize certain nouns, but in English, this is how it would sound in English, pardon your ears, or pardon the whole thing, but you're supposed to actually, you know, yell all caps, because that's what they connote. I wasn't actually going to do it, because I have respect for you. <laughs> Wait, did they capitalize the full word? Bottle ship was uh, in all caps. Jeez, what is this Pokemon? Wait a second. Bottle ship laboratory. B S L. <laughs> I see what they did not. You know what? I couldn't put my foot, put my finger on it before, but I think I have a better understanding of why I actually enjoy this game. 
I think it's even just with how like completely melodramatic and how seriously it takes itself. It could be for the same reason that I like Death Note. It's just so ridiculously over the top and so it's just in its own little world about things. And yeah, you could argue it takes things way too seriously, but that's just part of what I like about it. Well, the difference is the Death Note was kind of a. Uh, you go to the system management. They program. they went full out with it. Um, the difference is, uh, in Death Note, it was supposed to be more of a suspense thriller, and, like, Light and L weren't characterized just yet. In this game, considering it's uh, the sequel to uh, an already progressive series, Samus is already characterized, and now they have to kind of deal with that. Well, not really. I mean, the most character we get is from Fusion and from the manga. Yeah, they're I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that in the tutorial. Here's how to use your power bombs. Now, you don't get to use them. Ever. <laughs> that is... Well, thanks! <laughs> oh, that is... I will also agree. That... Is dumb. They literally they tell you about power bombs twice, and you do not use them until the end game, and they never give you any sort of hint about it. It's like you actually have the potential to use them when this whole thing is done. Morph ball and press and hold the shot. Understood, Adam. No objections, of course. God. Ripped right out of fucking zero mission. Go this way. <laughs> I don't really. That's mind. the one thing that I hate about zero mission is stop telling me where to go. Let me explore. Let me find out this shit to do. Don't tell me all of this crap. Uh, there is, I believe. Yeah, there's something around here. <sighs> Um, oh, there it is. Yes, there is yeah. something right there. There we go. Just gotta wait for those guys to pop out. Also, something else I cannot stand about this game. This right here. What is that sound? What is it? I can't hear it, actually. The item get song from the very first oh. game. <laughs> that shit is iconic as all hell. And then it's just like... <laughs> sounds like someone because dropped a cardboard tube. Maybe they did. <gasps> and they just said, let's roll with it. <laughs> just two guys in the, in the, in the recording booth. Just, how are we going to remix this song? I, I, I don't know. One guy comes right back from the background. Just like I do. It's, we, I empty this roll out. What are we going to do? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Brilliant! Right. Uh, there's nothing you can do in this room just yet, so go ahead and uh, head back to that room with the uh, energy tank in the tube. Yeah. Boing. Ah, freaking walls. Like in the game... <clears throat> From a gameplay perspective, they did something very different than what Metroid had been doing from the previous games. In 1, 2, Fusion, Super, and Zero Mission, the games were all side-scrolling platformers. Prime was... The Prime series was all first-person. And then Pinball was... Pinball. <laughs> so, I acknowledge that I like that they tried to do something different. That having been said, oh, you actually do have to try to use that. I'm, I'm trying, but it's... Just stand still. Okay, there we go. I thought it was a button. I'm ashamed to say that on my first playthrough, it took entirely too long for me to figure this out. What, that you have to shoot those hives? Yeah. 
I do like seeing all of these old enemies in. I like seeing them all again. <clears throat> I guess. Um, I don't mind seeing them entirely, but at the same time, I feel like, oh, come on. Do you only have these ideas? Prime came out with new game, new enemies to include. Can't you guys do it too? Well, Prime had new enemies because it was an entirely different planet. The idea is that this has specimens from Zebus on it. That's why the enemies are all the same. But even the ones um, that aren't the same, they still treat them differently. Wait, wait, wait. Can you actually go back? Uh, not right now. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, that thing. <clears throat> um, when these guys jump towards you, um, or you could just do that. <laughs> Come here, you. When they, uh, Bam. when they stomp the ground, you should be able to, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like, see, you remember this. Yeah. There we go, I remember a thing or two about this game. This will tank. Should probably refill my stuff here. I kind of have mixed feelings about this, about the concentration feature. On one I... hand, it's like, where the hell did this ability come from? Why didn't you have it before? But on the other hand, it's really convenient. And it kind of adds a little bit of extra strategy to it, which is something I like. A little, I guess. Um, I am actually a bit more annoyed with the fact that if you haven't noticed yet, there are no drops in this game. Oh, I'm fully aware of that. There are zero drops, so restoring your health and recharging your missiles, that's left to that concentration move. Can you go, um, actually... Where am I going here? <clears throat> just wondering if you can actually head back to the south. Right, that's where we're going. Just to see if you can get those things now. Should be able to. Because if a memory serves me correctly, I'm hoping I'm wrong on this, but I think the doors are locked. I could just check my map. Oh wait, I don't think those... No wait, I don't think locked doors show up on your map. They do not. Eh. This is the one room that really matters. Oh, right, this room here. There's something in here. I hate these sequences because I don't you have this whole over-the-shoulder sequence where you could slowly be investigating in this uh, compact and small area and actually shoot shit, but can you shoot shit? Nope. Daddy, nope. Let me, let me. Okay, I guess this one's empty. Um, what I'm thinking That one of doesn't is... have anything in it. <sighs> Your instincts aren't wrong. There is one of these sequences. Yeah, I, the I know that shoulder. I always that has forget which one. It. Yeah, I always forget which one it is. And no, yeah, <clears throat> you were right. The door's locked, and it will remain locked for the rest of the game. I don't think it's the rest of the game. I'm pretty sure you can come back there eventually. It, it, although it probably is pretty late. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Is Durga not yet? She is not. Not, not here yet. Thing. Not sure where, though. I'm hoping it's soon. Okay, so... You should be able to get the thing, or at least one thing, in this room. Yeah, from the, the morph ball thing? Yep. Alrighty, yeah. There we go. <clears throat> I remember on my first playthrough, I kept... I tried for probably ten minutes to try and get this one. Before little thing here. I actually, yeah, same. I tried to jump into the little vent right there before I uh, raised the platforms, but <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was doing earlier. <sighs> I forget what you need to get this. Is it the wave beam? Yeah. Okay. Save Which, me. by the way, you already have. I, I feel I should point that out. <laughs> oh, God. 
see, this is also something that annoyed me. You've been through that door, but you actually had to, you know, go back to the navigation room and let it download more of the map. Instead of just letting you through. Let you wander around. That's what exploratory games are. Well, Other M wasn't supposed to be an exploratory game. Which I understand people don't people didn't like about it because that's what the series has always been about. But that's the thing that that's part of what I don't understand why people were so put off by this game. Yeah, it's different, but it was supposed to be different from the beginning, and that was always made clear, so I don't know what people were expecting. Because the Metroid franchise is about, like, exploring. Even since game one, yes, I'm... you were able to just wander around, but... <clears throat> yeah, I'm aware of that, but that's the thing. I mean, going into this, I wasn't expecting an exploratory game at all. I expected something that was very story-driven. Something where you would be going from point A to point B along all the, the whole way. So Wait, just point A? Can what? you go left? No, it's locked. Can you go right? Try going right. Uh, there's a wall in my way. So wait a minute, you can't go left or right. I guess we'll just go straight down this corridor. Uh, are you maybe thinking of the elevator to the different sectors? I was actually making a joke. <laughs> oh. It's actually a John Tron reference. There is something in this room. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, actually, I remember this. I actually, on my first playthrough, I had, I had to get this at pretty much the end of the game. Hang on here. Come here. No, not even this one, but um, the uh, room, this corridor right before the elevator room. There was something in that, too. Oh, the last room? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, is it this? Uh, one of these shafts has something here. in it. Oh, uh, well. you're going to need to shoot upwards. Oh, uh, well, this is something. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> it looks like I'm just flying around in circles. I love it. A little bit, yeah. You know what? The switching to first person, honestly, I don't have a problem with it now. This is, I'm not, it's not bothering me now. Weird. Wait until you have to use that uh, at a much faster pace. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm expecting as much, but at least for the time being, not bothering me. Am I recording this right now? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm always paranoid of that. Whee! Might as well check that myself. Boom. Yeah, I am. Alrighty. So I All think right, it's that's um, everything in this room. Okay. So it's <clears> safe <throat> to say that we're at least going to try for a hundred percent here. We'll do as much as we can, but unfortunately, I don't want. I wanted to get those two immediately, but you can't get them until much later in the game, and that's what I think is dumb. Well, I mean, Super Metroid did that too. I found that <clears throat> a lot. That there's just something like I'm just thinking. I know this is here, but I can't get this until. Freaking halfway There's through Norfair. There's something in the previous room, by the way. Oh. See, I can actually, I can think of an example right, right now. The um, in the room, uh, in lower criteria to the right of where you get the morph ball. That room with um, a missile tank behind a big wall. You could uh, speed booster to go up through it. Right. I remember that room because it's easy to get up there without the speed booster. I don't think you even need the power bombs to do it, or do you? You need the power bombs to blow away the bottom of the uh, um, ah. the bottom of the rock. You need to blow away that with a power bomb, but you don't actually need the speed booster to break the regular. Oh, right block. at the top. Yeah, that's what it was. The power bombs is what <clears throat> I was missing. Right. What? My feed just went blank. It's oh, uh, there. It is sticky. Okay, it's back. Alrighty. Um, how do I get up there? Oh, okay, can't wall jump. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I remember this now. There's, a, I think, uh, an energy part up here? Correct. Right. <clears throat> That's something I have many mixed feelings about, the energy parts. 
on one hand, hey, Zelda, it makes me yeah. think of this. But on the other hand, why? I I just, it seems like it's just an excuse to add more collectibles. <laughs> oh, well, there I go. <laughs> oh, okay, she fell down. Yeah, she she has great agility when she's wall climbing. Mm, it takes some getting used to, but I honestly do... Well, I have... I tolerate the controls. <laughs> I tolerate that the things I... That should be I, an alarm right there. Uh, this is a... I tolerate the things I don't like, go. but what I do like, I really like. Uh, to answer your question... Uh, the energy parts, think of them like uh, hard pieces from most Every Zelda, Zelda games. games. Well, I don't think the first Not does, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess had hard pieces. It does, but it's five pieces to one container as opposed to four right. pieces to one container. That's what this is. Four energy parts right. equals one energy tank. Doesn't Skyward Sword do that too? Does it? I think so. I'm actually playing through uh, Twilight Princess again, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> you actually decided to do it? I decided to do it, because I liked Twilight Princess. I yeah. liked Midna. Yeah, Midna's <clears throat> fun. Midna was the companion with personality, unlike... Uh, Navi. Navi, and I get Well, Tattle was characterized, but she was a Piss worm. <laughs> nah, I she guess. was kind of fun. Oh, good. This. This is another thing that I didn't like about Other M. You have sectors, the main sector, sector one, sector two, sector three. Does anybody remember something familiar about this mechanic in design that they used in a Metroid game before? I'm pretty sure I've seen something like it. Oh, well, you see things all the time that remind you of previous installments. That's just how sequels work. But they weren't labeled exactly the same things. Super Metroid was. Super Metroid takes place on the same planet. Yeah. Well, this is a Galactic Federation space station. It makes sense that they would use a similar system just for convenience sake. They're even the same, like, it's not just a matter of convenience sake. They're even the same areas. Sector 1 is your typical, like, Plants. normal inhabit plant life. Sector mm -hmm. 3 is your hot place. Yeah, they probably do that because that's just the protocol. I'm not talking about an in-game perspective. I'm talking about a design perspective. A game designer. They are... Let's see, how many games have they pretty much ripped off from previous other games? The first person view thing, they're, you know, borrowing this from uh, Metroid Prime, of course, because they had to have this for well, some reason. If you want to call it ripping off, then <coughs> you could argue that every game rips off something. They Not have, entirely. They have to do something. They can't just... I mean, the 2D stuff is ripping off every other 2D game, and the first-person stuff is ripping off Prime, so they had to do something with it, and frankly, I th I think that having the first-person mode work along with it works pretty well. Like I said, it's as of now, it's actually not bothering me, even though it used to. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll have to wait and see. Did you just recharge your things in more fall mode? No. It looked like you did for a second. Uh, oh. Shit. This is, oh, these guys. You know, these guys are annoying as hell to kill, but it does exemplify something that I like about this game. It forces you to stay on your toes about everything. Where the hell is the elevator? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> yeah, you haven't missed anything yet. Okay, good. Um, uh, if you when he's um kind of rearing back like that after you nail him with a missile, that's an instance where you can um 
lethal strike him. Well, bam! I like the one where she grabs him by the tail. Where are you, yellow? Bam! Headshot. There is something in this room. Alrighty. <clears throat> it's closer to the um, entrance that you uh, came in at, I think. Hmm. What am I looking for exactly? Probably a... Uh bombable thing in the floor, or maybe something uh, underneath uh, one of the vines. I see something flashing over here. Nah, it's just a light. Hmm. Where are the goddamn lights in this place? Good question. Oh, the morph ball casts a nice little glow, so I guess that could help. Uh, let's see... Hmm. I need to hear this grate over here. Uh, check the walls, I guess? No, it should be, like, right in the center of it. Okay, in the center-ish. Like in the center of somewhere? Oh, well, if it's not there, then it's not there. Wait, where are you? Uh, oh, no, I remember you were. Um, I'm right here. I meant on the map wise. Yeah, this is the map right here, isn't it? Yeah, it should be in that room, but. Hmm. Oh well, if you can't. <clears throat> I guess we could. If you can't find it, then. Um, uh, we should probably make note of things that we didn't get right away for ease of con for convenience later. Actually, that is a not bad at all idea. I closed Windows Explorer. I didn't mean to do that. Can I just say I love how colorful this game is, in spite of how dark? It's You're good. saying it's colorful despite the fact that you can't see it. Well, there's a lot of contrast in it. It's not just all, like, it's dark, but it's not afraid to at least show some color to it, to everything. Yeah. Which is more than I can say for some games. I mean, even the Prime series is, does, doesn't really go this bright... I'm busy marking off the shit that you have picked up already. Alright. Should be something in this room, but you are gonna have to come back here anyway, so you can just come back and get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hurt <hurting> me. <laughs> How dare you, oh, sir? Man. Been having a sneezing fit all day. It's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> what the hell is this? A navigation room. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Let the game catch up. Let the stream catch up to it. Uh, geez, you can only kill these things with missiles or what? No. Oh, there we go. You have to wait until they're not guarded. Ah. Because that's how waivers work. Right. Waivers always had shells, just like in other Metroid games. You're yeah, misremembering they were them, never, clearly. They were never um, 
shielded. Those enemies were in super as well, but they were... they You could always hit them. You're misremembering the game, clearly. I'm not, though. <laughs> I'm being facetious, dude. <laughs> I, I'm terrible at recognizing that stuff. Whoop. Whoop. Shit. There we go. If those things catch you, just um, roll into a ball and bomb. All right. Oh, lordy. Sir? Come here. These guys make me think of Arachnus, for some reason. <clears throat> they make me think of Armored Armadillo. Haha. <laughs> That's a Mega Man dude, right? Mega Man X, specifically. Yeah. Just making sure. I've never really played any Mega Man games. We fall! Oh, not bunnies. Could have made it. But you didn't! <laughs> Mmm, coffee tastes delicious. Does it? Specifically, it's um, this kind of vanilla blend coffee. It's good. Eh. Oh, lo oh, lovely. Two of them now. Double the action, double the fun. Double your armadillo man, double your death. Oh god, I'm super almost dead. Uh, you have. Uh, oh, energy. energy right, right, right. I've, Those little I forgot. Pellets I... underneath the bar. That's your remaining energy tanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm <clears throat> not used to this heads-up display anymore. Okay, I'm good for now. Shit. And even if you were almost dead, you would have the opportunity to restore a full energy tank. <laughs> not right now. Uh, not until you get down to about, uh, 25. Right, it's when it's in, um, red. But there, mm -hmm. you be, it becomes higher as the, as you get certain power-ups. That's something yeah, else, to find... they do add some interesting power-ups to the game. Like the Excel charge, I love it. Mm-hmm. That's what was in the elevator shaft, by the way. The one that you need the wave beam? Yeah, that's that. an Excel charge. Yeah, I remember that. Fuck you guys down there. I don't care what you have to say. Let's see, what did we have in here? Shit. Hmm. Well, I think this is just uh, showing you that, that missile upgrade up there is there. There's a route up there? Actually, that's the route you need to take. Is it? I could mm -hmm. have sworn it was one of these. Because I totally just got it right here. Um, oh, is that the, like, the way forward? Yeah. Okay. And then keep going. Right. Alright. Whee! <sighs> oh. No, like, in the missile tank area. Oh, okay, I thought you mentioned here. Okay. No, 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 no. You, you have to be very specific with me. I am, I'm rather dumb. You would not believe how long I was stuck in this area. I am a dumb like a moose, Dave. Dumb like a moose. Exactly, and how appropriate because I'm Canadian. I thought moose were more Alaskan. <laughs> nope, there's moose around here. <clears throat> uh, there should be something in the room to your right. Yes, I'm just, uh... Oh, this is Super Missile Door, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that's the way out. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Ooh, spooky close-up camera! Is it true that Canada has its own official phone number? What does that even mean? Like, just um, for the whole country? <laughs> it has its own area codes. I believe it probably has a country code as well. Probably. Oops, someone got into the chocolate again. The large cage like booth looked like something has a You know, it would have actually been a little bit eerie 
if in these sequences, um, she shut up. You remember that high-pitched wail that Zant had in Twilight Princess? Yeah, I remember yeah, that so hard. Imagine that shit in these scenes with no dialogue. Yeah. You know, I bet that the the, the, the off performance she gives probably would have been much better if she didn't talk all the time. Agreed. <clears throat> like I like I said at the very beginning, this game is not perfect. I will fully concede when there's something on it that I that honestly I cannot that I cannot argue with. It's yeah, it's not that giving Samus a voice was what I'm against. It's the fact that the person that got to do it did a shit job of it. Well, I don't think she did a terrible job. I mean, her voice in itself, I think, is pretty good. She just needed to work on her performance. Oh, wait, is there a thing back here? This looks like a thing. Uh, no. That is not a thing. Uh, that's slides. the way it's supposed to go. Oh. God. Hmm. Almost need to share the screen with you. Any idea when she will show up? Uh, I have no idea, honestly. I could not tell you. Also, no, Canada's phone number is not 800 O Canada. <laughs> it should be. <laughs>